think the city needs a kind of leadership that's going to play straight with the citizens, uh, especially where it comes to framing issues of money, of city spending, uh, and of the way the budgeting process works. Because if you want to line up public opinion behind investing in the city, uh, you have to paint a clear picture of where the city stands financially. And we have got uh, an administration in right now that is going to great lengths to make it sound like the city was dead, flat, broke, and could not afford a single thing before they came in, made a few, uh, frankly, superficial tweaks to the budget, and then turned everything around. And that's frankly not the case. And I think that uh, we need leadership that's going to uh, engage citizens in uh, the real story of the way the city's budget works and will line up public opinion behind the, the kind of investment the city needs. I always think in images and, and around this question of City Hall and, and a mayor, I think of um, the Wizard of Oz and I think it was so popular because, not so much because of the wizard, but because of the three really main characters other than Dorothy. So they're, you know, the Tin Man, um, the Lion and the Scarecrow and because of what they represent, um, heart, uh, brains, and courage, which they wanted. And of course, the, the wizard was off on the side, um, hiding behind a cloak and um, being deceptive and not connected to real characters. And like to me, um, I think maybe it's partly because I'm a nurse, I think it's really important that the mayor has the qualities of heart, you know, and that people... We need somebody who, like the mayor was in his first six months of shit disturber, somebody who could look into the little guy's eyes and tell him, I'm going to listen, I'm going to take into consideration what you and your needs are. There was that issue about the city plastic bags and the five cents. I spoke to him about that before the mayoral election. He said he would look after it. He looked after it. Other, Unfortunately, the tit for tat, saber rattling that goes on at City Hall with the left and the right, those things get lost. They get lost in a sea of uh, shark fins and other things that the city really should not be focusing their attention on. I like a shit disturber who is going to focus on cutting the expenses, cutting back on union control, cutting back on union benefits, cutting back on union wages, cutting out bonuses for bureaucrats, far too much money. Those that complain that the gravy train's only 10 million here, 20 million there, 40 million there, that's a heck of a lot of money. That's a lot of money to a small businessman. It's a lot of